Hey guys, thanks for watching this video. This is using another video using the NARS palettes I picked up. And this is again the one I call more playful. We're just going to be using two tones to create this eye look. And they're really kind of like a nice muddy kind of purple, which doesn't sound very pretty, but it really is. And it just kind of gives you a nice soft neutral glow of some grays and some purples, which are really big this year. And that's all the color you're using on your eyes. That's it, just a nice blush and some lips. So if you want to see how to create this really simple, natural looking face, keep watching. I've already primed my eye with Palladio Herbal Eyeshadow I've actually, Primer. I've actually really enjoyed this. Then I'm going to take this, like these two tones are kind of like a gray purple, which I really like that kind of tone. It warms up the eyes, but still gives kind of a natural glow to it. So I'm going to be taking this kind of putty opal shade and I'm just taking my finger and I'm going to apply that all over my lid from my eye from lash line up to your eyebrow. These shades aren't quite as intense as the other colors, so I find putting it on with your finger works just as well. Okay, so once you have that on the face, on the eye, oh, bad day to do a tutorial. I'm gonna take this purple putty tone, which is gray purple putty. It's the best description I can get. I'm taking a stiff crease brush I'm just honestly, brush is dirty, um, going back and forth in the crease and carrying it down. So really emphasizing the roundness of my eyes. And these colors have the beautiful sheen and shimmer to it with very little effort, which is what I like about them. And then just make sure we're going to get the corner. I actually kind of just fill in that outer third of your eye with this color because they blend so easily together like you don't really have to do much effort. And then going underneath the eye as well. Really getting that blending, smoky, natural look. And then just make sure you get it right in the crease, almost going on to the lid. Then you're going to take the brush and we're going to go back to that sparkly tone we had used in the previous tutorial, just the white sparkles. We're going to hit right underneath our eyebrow using the same brush and then just right in the cupid's bow or corner, inner corner of your eye. Just to lighten it all up. And that's really all you do with the eyeshadow. Then I'm just going to be taking, this is a Kirkland Signature. We got it at Costco eyeliner pencil. It's a double ender. It has a brown end and a gray end. And I'm going to be using the gray. And on this eye, I just have a kind of a thicker on the outside and it just kind of disappears. So I'm just going to do the same thing. Just going to gently hold it, not really pull it, but just hold it in place. And just make a kind of a diagonal line up to the highest point of my eye when it's open, how it's roundest, right to the roundest part. And the ends, I'm just kind of feathering them out. I don't really want any kind of end. Once you have those evened up, you're just going to look straight ahead. 
you're just going to fill in kind of in between your lashes so that you don't see a definite end in the lash line. So I'm just going back and forth. filling that line in. And I'm just taking an Eco Tools angle brush and that same mauve putty color. And I'm just going to go over it to help blend it out and to help make the eyeliner stay a little bit longer. And just to make sure there is no gaps between my lashes. Just gonna take some more and I'm going right underneath the lash line again. Just really to blend it and have it all connected around my eye. Then I'm going to curl my lashes and I'm using the NYX's Doll Eye Mascara and Long Lash. Not a big fan of it, but trying to use it up. It's a little better now that it's dried out. And that's all it is for eyes, guys, and I'll be right back. Okay, and then for blush, all I did was really simple. I used the same technique that I use in the my winter blush tips. And I just applied the more vibrant coral color on the outer side of my cheek, and the pinker, um, peachier tone was applied closer to my apple. And I find sometimes the two tones just make it look like Oh, you did a little bit more contouring than you needed to or that you had to do so it makes it look a little bit fancier and that you spent more time on it I guess than you really did. For lips what I did is really easy I just applied a lip balm over my lips first so that they're a little bit more moist and they don't absorb the color as much then I took my Cindy Lauper Viva Glam by MAC lip gloss and I lipstick and I just kind of like gently put it all around so I had kind of a stain of color. Then I took my Rimmel Volume Booster Lip Color. There's no name, it has worn off, it's just in a nude tone. And then I just applied that over top. And that way you get a nice um, neutral kind of red pink look without having to worry about it smearing everywhere and things like that. So this is it guys, this is the final look. It's fairly simple and easy to do and it gives you a nice, neutral, natural looking face for the spring. Hope you guys liked it and thanks for watching. Bye.